What are you making? I am making beef stew and some basmati rice pilaf with a little mix of spices, including cardamom, which is kind of unusual. I like it. I'm making a beef stew. So I start with cubed up chuck. Season it on both sides with a lot of salt and pepper. I brown half of it in a Dutch oven, which is where I intend to build the stew, and the other half in a saute pan. That way it's not overcrowded and the meat really browns. I peel and cook parsnips in a little bit of water and butter with bay leaves and a pinch of brown sugar. Separately, I also cook spring carrots in olive oil with a little bit of butter and a little bit of water. After I brown the meat, I sliced up two onions and I put those onions on top of the meat and I just let them steam and cook with the meat. I deglaze each pan with half a bottle of red wine and I cook that down until there's very little liquid left. I put three cups of beef stock hot into each pan. Eventually, I marry the two pans together and I just let it simmer gently on the stove. This is for the pilaf that got goes it. with it. So there's okay. gonna be a lot of spices in the rice. Okay, I've got my- Whoa, where'd, where'd the meat go? The meat is cooking in here. Okay, so you really, you worked it in the Dutch oven, you worked it on the saute pan. Um, they both got red wine? Yes, and a dollop of mustard, which thickens as it cooks. And got here, it. I've got my parsnips, I just peeled them. These are gonna go with the stew, but I'm treating them separately first to give them their own flavor. Then I'm gonna mix it all together and I'm gonna get on the pilaf. Give me, give me some pilaf okay, explanation. Cool. Here's the rice, the basmati okay. rice. I'm soaking it, I always soak basmati rice. You're soaking rice. it, Marge. And you see how much starch right. you get in the it's water? It's already coming off. Yeah, so you soak it in the amount of water you're gonna cook it in, which right. is like one and a half times the rice. Okay. And then we're gonna cook it with this water. So the starch that comes out goes back into it as it cooks. I do this uh, soaking the rice and removing it and then putting the liquid back in because the taste is divine. I dice up an onion and I slow cook it in butter with a little bit of water. I just get the onion soft and tender. I add three cardamom pods, just all the little seeds inside, half a teaspoon of cayenne, two teaspoons of cumin seed, one teaspoon of fennel seed, a cinnamon stick, and two bay leaves. And then I just pour the liquid and the rice over those toasted spices. I bring it to a simmer on the stove for about five minutes. And then I just cover it, heat off, and let it steam for another 10 minutes. Flake it gently with a fork. It's just hard to stop eating it. It's just addictive. This is the beef stew. Parsnips, carrots, a little bit of peas, mustard. I love the mustard into the meat. Cool, Can I and there's a lot of red wine and red wine vinegar in there too. The peas are my favorite. Alex did a beautiful um, beef stew, delicious English peas in there, and a little bit of mustard to work as a thickening agent, but also really added some fantastic flavor. Give me the rice pilaf education. Ooh. That's good. Cayenne, cardamom, cumin, bay leaves, cinnamon, all cooked together. Mm. Delicious, spicy too. Yeah, it is spicy. It's got a I little like cayenne it. in it. I did really like the rice pilaf. I like it was spicy and herby, and it was audacious. 